What is going on guys? My name is George and welcome to this player review here in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. The player that we're going to be looking at today is the informed striker Matias Destro, player from Roma in the Serie A. Uh, and uh, I've been wanting to do this review for uh, basically since almost since the uh, Team of the Week came out with this player in there. But I wasn't able to do it. Uh, but now I, got, I finally got to do it before the next Team of the Week comes out, which is tomorrow. Right now as I'm doing it, it will be Wednesday tomorrow and there will be a new Team of the Week. So let's get into the the player, Matia Destro. He's got some, you know, some pretty ba balanced stats. 80 pace, 78 drilling, 77 shooting, 78 heading. Not too bad. 3-star weak foot and 3-star skill. Most pretty tall player, 5 foot 11. You know, pretty good a size for a striker. Um, and uh, he, he got 6 goals in 7 games, which is actually not bad. Um, obviously, you know, uh, for a striker to be like amazing, he would have at least, uh, you know, like seven goals in seven games or more than that. But still, you know, that's still pretty good. It's not that bad. Uh, so here we have, and he cost around 13,500 coins, but right now his price is like 11,000, I think. Uh, so this is uh, his normal card as you see right there. Uh, with that 80 pace, he looks, he looks just much better. Um, he got a pretty big boost in shooting. And uh, I think that was the biggest thing. Heading, obviously, of course, and, and dribbling and passing. And everything, you know, everything got, you know, uh, upgraded. But uh, I think the best thing about this card is the shoot, uh, about the inform is the shooting that it got upgraded by five. So now let's look at his in-game stats for Destro. His ball control, or we're going to look at first at everything right here. So we already know three star, we put three star skill moves. Um, he's got high attacking work rates and medium defensive work rates, so that's pretty good that he doesn't have high defensive work rates because that is just really bad for a striker. His acceleration, 81. Uh, he's got uh, 86 jumping, 86 reactions. His aggression is 77. Attacking position is 78. And right now I'll talk about, well, at the end of the video, I'll talk about what I like about him the most, the three things. And uh, you might be a little surprised because uh, they kind of contradict his stats right here. So these are his uh, skill attributes. Uh, as you can see, he's got a uh, pretty good shot of power right there. Uh, penalties 87. I, didn't, I don't think I took any penalties with him, uh, but, you know, but it's not an important stat. So let's see what he did for me in these games that I played. I played seven games with him, and actually the first five games that I played with him, I played him with uh, without a chemistry style, but the other two games I played with him, uh, I used um, the chem or two or three games. No, I think it was two games. Uh, the other two games that I played with him, I used them with, uh, I think, the Hawk chemistry style. And uh, he didn't feel much different. Uh, I just felt like he was still kind of like the same. Uh, maybe I should have used a different camera style on him, but uh, it just kind of felt the same. So how did he do in the game? In the games for me, he's a good striker, but he was kind of like uh, German Dennis, Herman Dennis, whatever his name is. Uh, you know the player from Atlanta. They because I did a review on him, and uh, they were kind of the same in the fact that you cannot have them you cannot have them in your club and expect them to you know be your main striker i guess even though they are the only striker in your team when you're playing with this formation so um they're not uh they're not like they're not gonna win you games basically that's what i'm trying to say and that was kind of true as well kind of for uh for herman dennis uh but he scored some you know nice goals i guess his finishing uh his finishing wasn't that good for me even though okay this is where it kind of gets uh contradicting and stuff because the stats that he had in his in-game stats really the ones that were high the highest i thought they were they should have been the lowest i don't know that was just my opinion but uh i'll see, you'll see right now at the end of the video where i'll um i'll show you three things that i liked about him and and what i didn't like about him so you know as, as i said he had some pretty nice goals but still his finishing i didn't like it too much his shot power again his shot power didn't feel that good it didn't feel that good i thought it was going to be better but it wasn't so here are the three things that i liked about him attacking position balance and shot accuracy yes his shots always went to goal and uh, his balance was actually pretty good but his, the bad things are his strength finishing and reactions um you know he doesn't have the best of strengths but still you know he's able to stay stay in, and balance even though his balance stats were low so that's what i was talking about it contradicts that but still i gave him an 8 out of 10 i think he's still pretty good thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video guys later